Hi everyone, uh, I wanted uh, to show you this uh, small project. I'm uh, busy with putting lighting in the 7740 train. Uh, this train is almost as old as I am, it's from 1980 and uh, from the grey Lego train 12 volt era. Um, I always liked this train a lot and uh, this is one of the first trains that I got when I got out of my Lego Dark Ages. It runs originally on the, the 12 volt tracks and uh, I converted it to the 9 volt system. The um, electronics are almost the same as I've explained in my previous video. Uh, so I have a converter that converts 5 plus volts to 12 volts. So the lights are also on when the train moves at lower speeds. And to prevent flickering of the uh, lights, I used instead of a pack of 4 capacitors, one big whopping capacitor of 10,000 microfarads. This capacitor is uh, quite big and that's a good thing since this train has to drag 5 coaches which will have all lighting installed as well. Um, so when we put on the lights you see that everything works just nicely. We got front lights, we got back lights and also some lighting inside the train. And we have also a connector here that brings the 12 volt power supply to the coaches. Um, due to the capacitor the lights will remain on for a while when I turn off the power, like you see here. I think that this time is a bit short, so I don't think that this capacitor holds a full 10,000 microfarads, which is uh, reasonable to think, since this thing is made in China. So it's a bit messy on my desk, as you can see, and that's because um, I'm going to record tomorrow a new video, which is a 13 LEGO train crash and uh, 13 LEGO trains will crash in this station at the same time. Um, so that'll be fun I guess. Um, I'll make sure to upload a small preview on this uh, channel. So uh, don't miss that one. For now, thanks for watching. Bye!